Hello YouTube, Moose Cow here. I'm about to jump into another YouTube war, but before I do, I wanted to announce a update to Madman and I's expansion for Spain in what we call BBR Plus. Uh, BBR Plus is the name we've given to our version of BBR with our house rules added in, and those are mostly, we have a, a, a different Spain, a very different Spain. Um, we have a Turkey, we have the Dutch, uh, as, a, as a presence, and um, we also have a, a different uh, Vichy and Free French rule set, as well as um, uh, allied, expanded allied resistance and lend-lease. So, anyway, uh, the rules have, uh, for Spain have had a slight update. The rules for the Spanish Civil War itself have been unchanged, uh, if I can remember correctly. I don't think anything has been changed in the Spanish Civil War um, uh, rules for the mini game itself, but um, and the map is the side map is still the same We will in the future have a deluxe version that we're gonna make once we finish up uh, other projects like Kings and Kaisers and stuff uh, We are planning to make a deluxe edition and the rules will basically be the same It'll just be a slightly more larger map that you'll have to print uh, that you'll have to get printed rather than being able to just print on a sheet of paper at home and laminate Anyway, uh, so This is still all the same this is the same. Uh, I've changed uh, the formatting for this area a little bit to free up some space. Um, there's probably been some changes to the strict neutrals rules and uh, uh, since last time I updated, updated it. And uh, the biggest thing, there's two, two, two significant things that have changed with these rules for um, National Spain and Republican Spain after the war. And that is that there's been a few um, national objective revisions and uh, also now, uh, in order to activate Spain, not only does, um, for the nationalists or the Republicans, in order to activate Spain, not only do certain criteria, needs, uh, does certain criteria need to be met in order to activate them and bring them into the war, uh, but in the national Spain instance, uh, Germany has to pay 12 IPCs uh, to activate them, and the Soviets have to pay 12 IPCs to activate Republican Spain. And those 12 IPCs, um, are basically they is giving funding to Spain. So on uh, Spain's hypothetical turn in the turn order, which is after Russia in, each, in either case, uh, if you have a national Spain, um, at the beginning of what would be Spain's turn, Germany then, I know this is kind of awkward, but Germany then pays 12 IPCs to Spain, and then Spain takes those 12 IPCs and adds them to their six IPC starting income and allows them to immediately buy units with those 12 IPCs. Essentially the same thing with Republican Spain and uh, Russia. So, yeah, you got you. So basically, yeah, you got to fork over twelve IPCs, and that gets added to their income. Reasoning for that is that 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 uh um uh it it was to appease Franco's demands. Franco demanded, he demanded boots on the ground in England, and he demanded a large amount of money in order to, in order for Spain to jump into the war and such such. So. We figured, especially after having them their economy as it was, with um, um, you know after the civil war, you know that would be the case. So replicate that. We felt twelve IPCs was a, a, a awkward enough number um, that uh, Germany or Russia might not want to actually pay that. You know, so depending on. But anyway, that is so that is a new element to the game, um, and it kind of also helps kind of balance it a little a little bit. Um, when that happens and then um, also if if for instance uh, that is only if Germany or Russia is is uh, uh, giving them the funding so if the allies if, for instance if the allies attacked national Spain while it was neutral then they wouldn't need to get they, then they would not receive those 12 IPCs from Germany that Germany wouldn't have to pay them that funding same with Russia if, if Germany attacks Republican Spain then uh, the then the Soviets they're in the game the Soviets don't need to, don't need to pay them that 12 IPCs you know so kind of offsets it and on top of it you have our Portugal rules which is kind of like the Mongolian rules for Spain more or less so if you attack you know so if you attack uh, Spain while it's neutral then depending on what Spain you're dealing with Portugal jumps in to aid Spain um, there's uh, much more information on that in the playlist uh, in the links in the video description there there'll be a playlist that'll explain much more of these rules and go over um, go over more of these rules in more detail. Um, so this is, anyway, uh, so on top of the national objectives being revised a little bit, the cards 
the uh, cards themselves are, are different are different files and are now easier to make. So these are the new uh, card files, and as you can see, they look quite nice, right? So just as a comparison, here is here is the earlier version of the cards. And now how I made these was that you would uh, just look kind of look at the draw, print one side, flip the sheet over, print the other side, and hope for the best in terms of in terms of alignment. And as you can see, the front looks okay, the back looks pretty off, you know. So, and on top of that, you see. Uh, because it's on one sheet of paper, you can see the back through the front, which is not great. But at the time, it was the best the, the best I came up with. Then, uh, when we came up with these cards, um, with the, with the, uh, this style of card, um, you, there'll be a link in the uh, video description for you to get these rule files as well as these card files. Um, uh, basically, uh, kind of came up with this idea before the tournament when we made our uh, prototype uh, Kings and Kaisers uh, card set and map to give away. Um, essentially, the card files are both of these together as one image. So, for instance, if you wanted to print out this uh, National Objective card, it'll be a file like this. So you print it, and then you carefully fold it to make that card. You then carefully fold it, and then use a guillotine or scissors or you know whatever, cut it out carefully. And then I have a uh, little corner trimmer. And get the corners, make them all universal and nice. And then laminate it, and then cut it out again and do that whole process again. And uh, this I printed at 10.5%. You could print it at 10% as well in order to fit it into um, these nice card deck boxes from uh, drive through Cards kind of fit the BVR cards perfectly, so that's what I did. And then because these cards are folded, they also, it's uh, because essentially now it's two pieces of paper, you don't see through to the back like you do with the old ones. So there's not that, it looks a lot better that way. So anyway, these cards are great. I'm very happy with this method of uh, creating these cards. So um, yeah, so that is the big thing. Um, the national objectives that have changed, we have revised this national objective um, to include uh, Portuguese Guiana as well as Liberia, because in our rule set, Liberia is a pro-allied territory. So those got incorporated in here to give um, you know some kind of meaning to either of those territories that usually never get involved in the game anyway. Um, and then we've probably also, also revised, like this card got revised in terms of um, um, wording to match with other BBR cards and such. So those two got revised. Um, this one got revised to include Portuguese Guiana and Liberia. Um, terminology might probably got, I think it was revised on this one as well and a few other ones. But anyway, so that's the big thing. Uh, the big thing with the update is that the end national objectives have been changed very slightly. Oh, and we also took off um, axis control. So if uh, the axis control Gibraltar, Spain doesn't get an NO for that, uh, or uh, an IPC for that. So originally it was if Spain or, or axis powers control all of them, but that would, you know, there'd be a double dip with just our Casablanca, and Cabla and Casablanca and Gibraltar. So we we uh, changed that. So if the axis control those, then, then uh, Spain doesn't get those. Uh, but Spain has to control them. Anyway, so there's that. So those are the new cards for Spain. And on top of that, we've also revised um, the cards for uh, our Vichy and Free French rule set and Allied lend -Lease. The rules are, I believe, the same either way. If you have our rules, the current version for both versions of France is 6.0.4, and the current version for our Spain rules is 8.0.0. .0. 800. So anyway, these cards are the same kind of files, and you can make them, and they are very clean. Um, we have revised the terminology and wording of the Vici card, and uh, corrected a little bit on the Lendlease card. I think the Allied Resistance card is exactly the same, but anyway, they are still they are the same kind of card files where you can print them and fold them, and they're much easier to make, and they just look a lot nicer that way. Um, big fan of these adds a lot of uh, credibility to your house rules, you know? <laughs> so anyway, that's our method for folding, for printing, folding, and uh, laminating your own national objective cards. So anyway, yeah, so that is up on our Google Drive folder. 
And all these will fit with the national objectives in a uh, drive through card box, which is really nice. Um, outside of those two things, like I said, oh yeah, and the Dutch rules that we have up there, those are unchanged. Uh, that is just to clarify, that is version 1.5 that is up there right now. I don't see those changing again anytime soon. But anyway, so yeah, go to uh, our uh, Google Drive folder, download these rules, download the Civil, Spanish Civil War side map if you haven't. Um, and again, if you're not familiar with them, check out the other videos and I will elaborate further on the rules for uh, Spanish Civil War, uh, rules for um, both factions of Spain, and um, how to make them and stuff and what, what, what you need to uh, implement these house rules, uh, ex BBR expansions of ours. Um, a map will, have, a BBR plus map will eventually be made available as well, but you can still run rampant with these rules in your games and print out a Spain overlay because our Spain has a different setup from the BBR4 and now BBR5 setup. So that is what our Spain looks like. Anyway, so without further ado, I have to get cracking and uh, set up a game for the upcoming YouTube war. It is Operation Ice Cream. I gotta get cracking and set all this stuff up. I will be living, living up to my namesake and playing Russia and Hammer Time is already coming at me pretty fierce so let's hope I can roll the dice better and uh, again check out Spain check out our Spain so let me know what you think um, questions comments concerns shoot me an email at moosecowhq at gmail and uh, yeah let me know what you think and try it out until then let's hope I can roll the dice better <laughs> 